What is up, Hardcore Nation? It's Hardcore Christopher here. And. Oh, I lost my train of thought. Hold on. This is the most awkward shit conversation I've ever had. Uh, okay. Um. Hold on. My train of thought will return to the station. And it has returned. Um. Today I want to talk about somebody that is the... personification that is he's the personification of well it's gonna sound cheesy but he's the personification of domination and no I'm not talking about Bobby Lashley He is the personification of somebody that can't go long in the ring. About 90 seconds in the ring. So, I'm talking about Bill Goldberg. Now, why am I talking about Bill Goldberg today? Well, Bill Goldberg is on tonight's Smack SmackDown, and I want to see what... I want to see what Bill is going to do, and Bill is going to say. He's probably going to be at Super Showdown, but l let me just run down Bill Goldberg. Like, not run him down, like, not, not like, knock him, knock him in, in, in any way. Anyway, <clears throat> Goldberg first debuted in the 90s for WCW. His first match was against he, uh, Bill DeMott, a.k.a. Hugh Morris, and that's what started his 100-plus win streak. Bill's streak ended with S Scott Hall, Stun gun, jackknife, pin. But after WCW got bought out by WWE, it was a year. It was a year later that that Goldberg made his debut for WWE. His first opponent was The Rock, and he, and Bill, um, and Bill made quick work of The Rock, interrupted The Rock concert, and went on to Backlash to beat him, uh, viciously. Now, let me fast forward to when Bill caught the attention of Triple H. Triple H offered a I believe it was a $20,000 bounty or something like that that Batista eventually claimed. But before Bill was world champion he was in the 2003 SummerSlam Elimination Chamber match, which consisted of Kevin Nash, Triple H, Randy, Batista, Jericho, and Goldberg. Goldberg wreaked havoc in the Elimination Chamber, but Quite frankly, Bill's first run with the company was not that good, simply because he they were putting him in 
15, well, 10 to 15 to 20 minute matches that Bill just could not do. He could do them, but he'd be completely blown up afterwards. And, well, that is due to WCW's booking of him. Bill was a, a steamroller, basically. He steamrolled over everybody in WCW. And his matches only lasted like a minute because of that. Um, so... Bill's first run with WWE was not that good, and com and they completely botched his world championship win because instead of having Goldberg win at SummerSlam, he Triple H with the help of Evolution, which was still, which was still around at that time, um, uh, Triple H won, and then Goldberg got. Uh, and then Goldberg got demolished by Evolution by having a sledgehammer upside his head. And, and Goldberg was, Goldberg was left in the chamber bleeding and handcuffed. So... His first run, his first run, yeah, I cannot talk in this video, culminated with a, I don't know how you would say it, with a garbage match at WrestleMania 20. Um... At WrestleMania 20, with Brock Lesnar, the fans were booing both competitors simply because they knew they were both on their way out. So Brock and Bill just got the money and did not get. It. They didn't really care at that point. Um, and the reason why. Goldberg, Goldberg and Lesnar even wrestled at. 20 was simply be was simply because of one reason no way out Eddie won the WWE championship with the help of Goldberg interfering after a ref bump so let's I'm going to go forward to his second run with the company, which was by far a lot better. The only the only thing the only complaint I have about about his second run with the company was he made Bill made Brock look incredibly weak. And and Bill, and Bill did show up in Saudi for a, for a dream match. Taker, Goldberg. Except it all went to except it all went to complete trash because Goldberg knocked himself goofy and he thinks he's like in his 30s or something because he keeps on headbutting a locker or a locker room door. And that's the reason why on Raw he had blood trickling down his forehead. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, so, oh, and that... Oh, and the Saudi Arabia match is regarded as one of the worst. I mean, I, I've seen, 
I've seen bad matches, and I've seen badder matches than Taker and Goldberg. Um, so now it's 2020, and I just want to know. I just want to know the answer to one question: Who's next? I'm Hardcore Christopher. Keep it hardcore, everyone.